All right, in this video, we're going to explore uh, some math, how to do a little bit of math in KOWP, and uh, I'm going to use the sunrise sunset feature to show you these things. Um, what I have here on this clock, you see a moon and you see a sun. This is what time the sun will set, right around 5 o'clock this evening. Right now it is roughly 2, um, here's my hours, here's my minutes, it's roughly 2.50. Um, so, you know, in just a couple of hours, uh, it's going to be sunset. Now this one over here is the sunrise, and this was the sunrise this morning, roughly 7 o'clock. I think it was around 6.56 or something like that when I was messing around with this on my phone. Um, so let me go ahead and show you a few things. Uh, if you're not interested in sunrise and sunset, I guarantee you, you still can learn a little bit of math pieces here on typing your math formulas in correctly when you're creating your custom live wallpaper. So inside of here, uh, let's go ahead and add a few items for points of reference. Let's add a text item. I'm just going to, um, and I'm going to, I'm just curious what time was the sunrise this morning? Um, these, are, these are just points of reference, by the way. So sunrise was at 657. I'm going to put a SR in front of this thing. And you can go in here, if you're not familiar with doing math, as long as you don't type that SR, whatever you want to type, you don't have to type it inside of the dollar symbols. That's where your formula is. You can put whatever you want to put out here. Um, let me enter down one spot, and I'm going to do sunset. I'm going to put a little space in there. You don't have to put a space, and uh, there's my time for sunset. So the sunrise was at 6.57. The sunset's at 5 o'clock this afternoon. All right, those are just points of reference. Let me zoom out, and I'm going to position that in the top right-hand corner. All right. Next. All right, um, I'll tell you what, just for a point of reference, let's go ahead and add another text item and let's just get the current time. Nothing fancy there. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, this is going to help in showing you how the math is really going to work here. So we got top left. All right, so the time is currently 2.51, as you can see on the clock, or now as you can see right up here. Maybe what I'm interested in is finding out, okay, how much longer do I have until uh, sunset? Right now it's 2.51, um, the clock stopped here, but it's roughly 2.51, so you know we got 3.51, 4.51, we got about two hours and 10 minutes roughly. So roughly two hours. Well, let's see how to get that in KOWP. I'm going to add another text. And... I'm going to show you some math right now. KOWP does have some features uh, built in. If we go to astronomical info again, and let me see. Okay, so time to next sunset. Remember, we just said roughly it was two hours. Check this out, though. If we go in here and we, in between those two parentheses, if we put a comma and we put uh, an H, or I think you can put a yeah a lowercase or a capital. Let, let's do, let's go with the capital H. So two hours is what we have left. Um, roughly is like what what I said there. Um, suppose we wanted minutes. Now that's the incorrect minute. Uh, what I want to do is a capital M because obviously it's not six minutes left until sunset. Remember the sunset's at five. Right now it's two fifty three. But if we put a capital M here, whoa! If we put a capital M we have 126 minutes. So remember when I said roughly two hours? Well, two hours equates to around 120 minutes, and we have a little bit more than that, 126 minutes. Now, I'm going to put in front of this thing, I'm going to put KLWP uh, code. Now, what I want to show you, though, mathematically, because sometimes KLWP will not have a function preset for you like that. I mean, even there with the M, that wasn't set there at least. I don't think. I think it is hidden somewhere from us. Or it's hidden right up here under uh, TF date. And look right here, minutes till next sunrise. And that kind of looks like what we have right there, except I'm using sunset, because I'm curious as how many more minutes I have till sunset. But there you go. Um, notice we can put whatever we want to put. Notice it says sunrise in, there's our code, and then minutes. So sunrise in, 964 minutes. This is your code. This is what's going to read out. But now, let's try to get this same number 
by doing our own code. That's what I want to show you in this video. So let's call this our homemade code. Now I, I know code spelled with a C, but I, I just like the whole K for uh, K O W P. All right, how do we do this? Now I'm interested in minutes. How many minutes do we have left in our sunlight? Or how many minutes until the sun sets? What we can do here is this. We can take TF. Basically, I'm typing in the same code I have up there. And this is what you're going to have to do by trial and error because sometimes the, the preset codes in here will not be there. And that's why I'm showing you this. Comma, hours. All right. That's how many hours we have left. Now, when we have this though, uh, let me go ahead and close this up. Okay, so two hours. But now, I want to know how many minutes. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to take this two hours and we're going to need to multiply it by 60. So times 60, look, check it out, 120. See how we're getting close to this number? We need to add on the additional minutes. How many hours and how many minutes? And actually, we can change that one to a lowercase. Let's use lowercase here. All right. Plus, and let's do uh, TF, a uh, sunset, close it up, comma, now lowercase m. Check it out. Basically, here's what's happening. Um, how many hours hours do we have till sunset? Um, it was roughly two. Multiply that by 60. That's going to give you 120. So we have 120 minutes, but then we want to add on those additional few minutes. In this case, it was only three additional minutes here um, until we got to uh, the sunset. But notice, KOWP code. 123 homemade code this thing here same thing now obviously it's good to use the, the one that's included here because uh, the capital M gives you the total number of minutes whereas the lowercase m here the way I use it in this code gives me the number of minutes that doesn't go past um, an hour so to speak because um, if this lowercase m went up to 59 when it hits 60, lowercase m would not be 60, it would be zero. Whereas this one, this capital M, just keeps on adding those minutes all together. So obviously, yeah, the KOWP code is a lot shorter. But again, you know, time 60 plus all this stuff that I'm putting inside of this code here, I'm putting it all inside of two dollar symbols. I'm keeping my stuff separated. And what you have to do in a few minutes when I show you how to get these uh, suns and moons, you need to watch your order of operations as well. But uh, there we have it. All right, and let me position, where do we want to put this at? Let's just shoot it over to the left, and let's knock it down some. Whoops, wrong way. All right. What's well, something else that's important for us to do before we actually get into doing this math with these two pieces? One more thing to talk about would be... Um, how much time do we have in our, uh, how much, how long does the sun stay up? Let's add a text item. All right, and this one's a code that's already included as well. If we go to, I think, TF date, is this right? Mm, yep, right here. Current duration of daylight, a t automatic format. Okay, so there's 10 hours. Basically, the sun rose. Let me save this. Let's go back and look at what we got here. The sun rose at roughly 7 o'clock, and the sun will set roughly at 5 o'clock. That's 10 hours. But it's not exactly 10 hours, is it? All right, let's go back and change our code a little bit. Um, let's do comma hours 10. I'll do double. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me go to my phone and boom, um, minutes. Now check this out. Look at how I'm doing this code. And let me go back and change it. Okay, uh, let's just say length 
of time sun is up. Come on now. Swipe is not working good. It normally does. All right. Length of time the sun is up. And center. And I'll tell you what, just so I don't get all this stuff mixed up, I'm just going to change the color. Because I'm trying to show you formulas here. Now let's look at different ways of showing this. Okay, the length of time the sun is up. And that is super tiny. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And where am I going to put this at? I need to put it at the bottom. So length of time the sun is up. Now look, see how that changed on us? It was 6.57. So, uh, you know, that it, anyway, six at 6.56 this morning um, to 5 o'clock this afternoon. If you figure out how many hours and minutes that is, that is going to be 10 hours and 4 minutes. Okay? Now, if I go back and change this code and I want to see just strictly minutes, I can do a homemade code or I can do a KLWP code. Um, let's do the homemade code. Remember while I go, how I used a capital M? If I use a cap, oh, hold up, I don't want to do that. I want to leave that the way it was. And let me come down here and do it. Um, copy and paste this. Not all that. All right, so basically we got the same thing here, but um, watch what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to do a capital M. Now look at these two things. This code right here is hours to minutes, or hours and minutes, whereas this one right here is total minutes. Just by changing the, the cap, uh, capital letters, if we look at this now, you will notice that this actually means the same thing. The length of time the sun is up. 10 hours, 4 minutes. That's how you read that one. That's not 10.04 p.m., 10.04 a.m. Be careful there. Uh, this one right here, 604 total minutes. That's when I use the capital M in my code. And if you actually do the math, well, how many minutes are there in an hour? 60. What's 60 minutes times 10 hours? 600. So we got 600 minutes, but then we have 4 additional minutes. That's how we're getting 604 total minutes. And again, I'm just playing around with capitalization here for this particular piece, but um, it really does take some trial and error. And all these points of reference up here, you know, this right here really does help us see that, yes, the time from sunrise to sunset is 10 hours and 4 minutes, or more importantly, what I'm going to be using right here in a minute is 604 total minutes. So there's a little bit of coding with the time. Now, how did I get this moon and this sun to do what it's doing? All right, now, uh, to focus on how to get this sun and this moon, um, this is going to involve different codes. I, th I think I did mention a minute ago that I would be using this 604 total minutes. I I'm not for this particular one. Um, the original idea I had was I wanted like a sun to kind of come up, come across the screen and set, like for sunrise to sunset. Then I, would, I was thinking about having a moon going backwards. Um, if you're interested, I'll mess around with it a little bit more and post a video. But for this one, I like this idea because I can see on my clock when the sun's going to set and when the sun's going to rise. Or basically when the moon's going to come up. Or, or well, You can't say the moon's going to come up because we all I know we've seen the moon in the middle of the day. So let's just think of this as sunset, sunrise. And basically what I want to do is I want to figure out how to get that moon. Notice the sunset is at 5 o'clock, so this is like our nighttime. And I had that moon right on 5 o'clock. I didn't put it there myself. I let KLWP do that. And here's what I did here. So I'm going to go to my sunset overlap group. And that's what you want to do. You want to create an overlap group. And then what I did with the uh, overlap group under layer, under rotation, I have it set to manual. And now I have a code using the calculator. You check that and you check that box up there. But let's go into the calculator and look at this code. This code is different than the codes I did earlier. How do I make it fall on whatever time the sunset is? What I want to do is I want to find the hour 
at which the sun is going to set. Remember, the hour at which the sun is going to set was 5 o'clock. So that right there is returning a 5. Mathematically, I want to multiply that by 60. So 5 times 60, that's 300. What do we do from there? Um, I'm going to add what minute. Now, I'm not using capital M's. I'm using what minute of that hour. So at 5, and remember, I think it was 5 o'clock on the dot. So 5 uh, times 60 is 300. At 5 o'clock, I'm not adding any additional minutes here. But at what minute does the sun set? So I'm doing a little code right there, a little bit of math. And if you do all that math right there, you're going to get 300. Now I want to divide that by 720. And the reason why we want to divide that by 720, let me come back here and just delete the 360 for right now. This isn't going to mess up too much. The reason why we want to divide that by 720 is because we want to, 720 is the number of minutes that you have in 12 hours. So if I come back here and delete all the way to there, look, see 300? I told you you get 300 right there. The reason why we want to divide by 720 is because I want a fraction of 720. 720 minutes would go all the way around this circle. But really, all I want to do is roughly 41% of the way around that circle. Actually, 42% of the way around that circle. So 42% of the way around that circle is almost halfway around that circle. But how do we convert that to degrees? we got to multiply it by 360. Because 360 is the number of degrees in a whole circle. Whoops, I can't use my keyboard. I need to use my cell phone. Um, multiply that by 360 because that's how many degrees you have in a whole circle. So roughly, remember, before I said times 360, it was like 0.4166666. Multiply that by 360, it gives you roughly 150, or exactly 150 in this case. So 150 degrees is what it's going to do. Now, if I take this whole code away, watch this. Let me take all of this away. Cut. Let me check it. Oh, notice where the moon is now. The moon's back up there at the top. That's like zero degrees. So let's think 360 all the way around. Um, let's break this up into... Um, okay, this would be 0, this will be 90, this will be 180, this will be 270, this will be 360. And to show you that further, actually I can take away the calculator. Alright, now if I start dragging, I want that moon, my cat's sneezing if you can hear that, but I want to take this moon, I want that moon to move automatically. Now, the moon needs to be right about there, give or take a little bit, I, I can't get it perfect because I want it to be 5 o'clock. Well, Exactly 5 o'clock, that would be, what, 360 divided by 12, so we're looking at 30, so 1 o'clock is 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, and as you can see, that code that we used, I want this to be automatic and dynamic based on KLWP, I need to go back in here and paste this code, the one I just took away and the one that I explained to you, but we're taking the number of hours multiplying times 60, or what hour, 5 o'clock times 60, and then we add how many ever additional minutes. We divide it by the total number of minutes in 12 hours. That's going to give us that 0.4166666. We multiply that by 360 to get the number of degrees that we need to rotate that moon. And as you can see, it's back where it should be. Now, also something to be careful with here, too, is the moon, the image, whatever image you decide to pick, I did put some padding on it, that way I could have it. Now, if I take this and start moving it, as you can see, the moon is um, going out of where I originally had it. But right about there um, is the bottom padding. And the reason why I applied bottom padding, because originally the moon would start right here, apply some bottom padding to shoot it up to here, and then we start rotating um, that moon, or yeah, that or that overlap group. We start rotating this out overlap group around this center right here. So it's not really an animation. It's just a, a rotation of an overlap group, which I have covered in some of my other videos. Now for sunset, lucky for us, what we can do there is really, I think what I did is I copied and pasted um, this group here, So and I called it sunrise. Um, I imported my image for sun, and all I had to do then once, whoops, Okay, I applied my bottom padding. I think I got some bottom padding on that as well. Yep. And I want to rotate the overlap group. Let me go back to my cell phone. Layer, 
um, rotation, manual, as you can see there, the calculator here. It's the same formula except basically we're trying to figure out at what hour is the sun going to rise and the sun rose at roughly um, 7 o'clock but I think the sunrise was at 656 so let's run this formula real quick let me come in here let me delete what we have right there so at 6 o'clock multiply that by 60 so 6 times 60 that's 360 but then we want to add on the at what minute of that hour and it was I think it was 656 so right now 6 times 60 plus 56. So let's add 56 to that and we get 416. Grab your calculator and check. But look, KOWP is finding that force. 416 minutes, I guess you could say past 12. That's a way to think about that. 416 minutes past 12 is 656. The time 656. All right. What fraction is of that is what fraction is 416 of the total number of minutes in 12 hours? Well, there's 720 minutes in 12 hours, so that's roughly 58%. But then we have to convert this to degrees, and I should have mentioned this a while ago, since we're rotating about degrees, it needs to be somewhere between 0 and 359. So multiply this by 360, and then we will have our degrees. So at right around 208 degrees, roughly, is um, where that sun should be at. And that's why the sun's there. So let me go back one more time, go back to this calculator. I'm going to take this code. I'm going to cut it. And now my sun's going to be way up here. Again, it's just like that moon. The sun starts here, actually, when you add the overlap group. Apply a little bit of bottom padding to shoot it up to wherever you want it if you're going to do something like this. And now, if I take away my calculator, um, I can rotate this sun all the way around, as you can see. And it does go up to 359. Um, I'm going to have to think about that with the code because well, I don't think I'll ever have a sunrise or a sunset at 12, so I don't really have to worry about it. But uh, as you can see, I am rotating it. But I want it to be right about here because notice the sunrise was at roughly 7 o'clock this morning. But So roughly 209 is where I have it um, right now by me just scrolling. But to automatically apply this and dynamically change it, that's why we have to go to this calculator and use that code right there. Whoops. And um, there you have it, you know, a couple of ways to, to deal with minutes and hours for sunrise and sunset, uh, some KOWP codes versus some homemade codes. And again, I don't want you thinking, oh, I'm just going to use the KOWP ones. Hopefully you have got an idea of saying, or hopefully you do have an idea of thinking about it where you have to form your own code because sometimes KOWP will not provide it. And that's what I wanted to show there. And then we mess with some rotation of an overlap group to get our sunrise and sunset here. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.